Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Today we'll look at the top 10 dangerous animals you should never touch. Stay until number one for one of the most beautiful but deadliest animals on earth. Number 10, poison dart frog. We get it. When you're visiting the zoo, hiking, or swimming, and you see a cute or unusual animal, your first instinct is to get near and pat or even squeeze that creature. But before you reach out for that tiny, colorful thing hopping on the ground, stop, because one touch to that soft-looking skin could mean hours of excruciating pain and even death for you. Take for example this cute and tiny frog called the poison dart frog. It gets its very appropriate name for the thin coat of neurotoxins that surrounds its body, especially its back. It's considered more toxic than any snake or fish in the world. Native hunters of South America used to rub their darts on the frogs to extract the toxin and make their darts extra deadly. Actually, biologists categorize this two-inch frog as aposematic. This means its brightly colored body is a signal to other animals that it's poisonous. Yep, its color is actually like a neon sign flashing to predators, don't eat, poison inside. Now, you probably won't die if you touch a poison dart frog. This guy certainly didn't. But you will go through the excruciating pain mentioned earlier. You'll also get cramps and stiffness. It's so infamous that the poison dart frog was even used as a tool by a serial killer on midsummer murders. We admit that some of the murders on this show are pretty weird. But think about it. This tiny frog is up there with guns, saws, and knives. Deadly. Number 9. Blue Ringed Octopus This octopus may be one of the most beautiful octopi anywhere in the world. Some might even call it cute and adorable. Ha! Huh. Shows how sneaky some animals can be, because this blue ringed octopus has a brightly colored body for one reason only. Poison. Remember that scientific word used for poison dart frogs? Yep. The blue ringed octopus is brightly colored because it's also opossumatic. Its body literally changes into different flashing colors, and its blue highlights turn neon to signal to other animals that it's poisonous. Although other octopi like the flamboyant cuttlefish are poisonous too, the blue ringed octopus is leagues above them. Its neurotoxin isn't secreted through its skin though. The reason why you shouldn't touch it is because it might think you're attacking it, and when it's scared, the octopus will bite. You actually won't feel the bite, but you will start feeling your body getting numb. Then you will feel nauseous, lose your vision and other senses, your motor skills will disintegrate, and you'll experience muscle paralysis. And the paralysis will eventually reach the point where you stop breathing. If you don't get intubated and put on a ventilator in time, you will die. So, the lesson here is heed this animal's warning signals and do not touch. Number 8. Blue Glaucus Here's a little guy that's sure to tempt you not just to touch it, but to pick it up and play with it. Just look at those flower-like appendages. It grows only up to 3 centimeters, which makes it even cuter. But the blue glaucus is not called the blue dragon for nothing. Now would you get near a dragon? Nope, uh-uh. This brightly colored sea slug is part of the nudibranch group of soft-bodied sea mollusks. It isn't venomous on its own. Its bright blue color isn't a signal of its natural venom, but the venom it incorporates into its body. Actually, its color is more for camouflage than for being apasomatic. It actually eats and stores toxins in its body. You see, when the blue glaucus eats venomous animals, like the Portuguese man-of-war, it stores it in its small body, the toxic stingers of the jellyfish. When it's attacked, the blue glaucus releases the venom and stingers that it has stored against its predator. Actually, by doing this, the blue glaucus multiplies the acquired venom so it gets to deliver a sting that's more potent than the original animal sting. Fun trivia, a group of blue glaucuses is called a blue fleet. And this is one fleet you will want to swim away from fast. Number seven, Puss Moth Caterpillar. Lots of people can't stand creepy crawlies, but sometimes they're so pretty and so colorful that you can't help but want to touch them. Case in point is this Puss Moth Caterpillar that looks like a toupee. If you're a kid, you'd find it hard not to touch it. It's also called furry puss caterpillar, tree asp, 
and southern flannel moth caterpillar because of its fluffy looks. Actually, might as well call it a Tribble because it looks so much like these Star Trek characters. And underneath its toupee, it actually looks like this. It's like the very hungry caterpillar, right? And who'd be scared of the very hungry caterpillar? But you see, with the hair, it's really deadly. The hair is not exactly venomous. Buried among them, though, are spikes that look like mini hypodermic needles laced with toxins. It doesn't take much for a person to get poisoned by these spikes. If you pet the caterpillar, or if it falls on you, get ready for some horrible pain. Think of a bee sting only 10 times worse. The pain is immediate and progressively intensifies until even your bones hurt, and you start having difficulty breathing, headaches, and nausea. And the moral of this story is, don't pet this too bad. Number six, Lanomia obliqua. From one cute but dangerous caterpillar, let's go to another. We present the most dangerous caterpillar in the world, the Lanomia obliqua. It grows up to barely two inches of length, but it's responsible for several human deaths, particularly in Brazil, each year. It's very hard to spot, even if you're looking for it, because it blends so well with the bark of local trees. This doubles the danger of getting stung by this tiny animal. And this is why it's also called the assassin caterpillar. So why should you be wary of this creature? Well, its bristles are full of a powerful anticoagulant venom, which stops your blood from clotting and actually thins it out. If that isn't dangerous enough, just brushing against one bristle can make you vomit, hemorrhage, and rupture red blood cells. Touch more than one bristle, and you run the risk of massive internal hemorrhaging, renal failure, and as stated previously, death. With such potential danger, don't touch isn't enough. You probably need to stay far away from the areas where this tiny thing lives. Otherwise, hello caterpillar, goodbye life. We're halfway through. Are you liking this video? Then please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to hit the notification button for regular updates of our informative and exciting animal videos. Number five, pufferfish. If you're into Japanese food, you know that there's a fish that's the food equivalent of a Russian roulette. In Japanese, it's called fugu. In English, we call it pufferfish or blowfish. Some consider it more poisonous than the poison dart frog because its neurotoxin, called tetrodotoxin, is found in its skin, muscle tissue, liver, kidneys, and gonads. So yeah, pretty much its whole body. This is why only a handful of chefs are licensed to handle it. Just one wrong move can mean death. You need a very, very delicate touch to cut the fish meat so it won't turn toxic. By the way, its toxin is up to 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. So one fish has enough toxin to kill 30 adult humans. Pufferfish can inflate their bodies by sucking in lots of water and even air. Even if these dolphins think it's a big ball to play with, don't follow their example. If you're ever tempted to touch one, you will suddenly find yourself holding a bigger fish. Oh, and did we mention that some of them have long spikes? And that's the definition of triple threat right there. Number four, slow loris. We're amping up the cute and cuddly level with our next animal. Come on, how can you resist those large and gentle eyes and shy demeanor of this slow loris? Also, look at this one nibbling on a slice of a banana. But no matter how endearing it may look, you should resist petting it. There's a reason why this cute animal is in our list. If it feels like you're attacking it, it'll mix toxins into its saliva and fur. The toxin comes from a sweat gland on its arm, which is secreted when the loris licks on it. An inherently poisonous mammal is actually very rare, and among primates, the slow loris is the only one that has this ability. So how deadly is its poison? Well, there's the usual pain and swelling and nausea, then there's the more deadly anaphylactic reaction. Shortness of breath, which, you know, could lead to you to stop breathing and die. Lady Gaga actually wanted to feature this cute creature in one of her videos, but she discovered how vicious and deadly it could be, so she just stopped. Number three, duck-billed platypus. Scientists agree that even among the diverse creatures in the world, the duck-billed platypus is just plain weird. Not only can it lay eggs, even though it's a mammal, it's also one of the very few mammals that's venomous. It has venom glands connected to hollow spurs on its hind legs, 
Although the venom isn't lethal, it can make you feel like you've been stung by hundreds of hornets. You may not die, but you will be out of commission for weeks afterwards. Even though it's born with these spurs, the female platypus loses these stingers before she becomes an adult. So technically, it's only the male platypus that you need to avoid. The males typically produce the venom during mating season, but even when it's not the right season, you might still want to stop yourself from touching this weird creature. Number 2. Hooded Pitahui If color equals venom, then there should be quite a lot of poisonous birds, right? Wrong. There are only three types of birds considered poisonous. The blue-capped Ifrita. What is it about blue and poison? The Rufus or Little Shrike Thrush and the most poisonous bird on the planet, the hooded pitahui. This beautiful songbird found in New Guinea has shiny black and orange plumage. Its two close relatives, the variable pitahui and the brown pitahui, are actually poisonous too, but the hooded pitahui tops them. These birds don't produce toxins in their bodies. They get poison from their food. In particular, the hooded pitahui ingests a neurotoxin called homobatrotoxin the coursing beetle, which is one of its favorite foods. The toxin coats the skin and feathers of the pitahui, so if you touch it, you will immediately feel a numbing and tingling sensation. Actually, the scientist that discovered this bird's toxicity felt his hands and lips going numb when he first held the pitahui. So just continue bird watching from afar, and don't go for an extreme close-up of this deadly feathered beauty. Number 1. Box Jellyfish Australia can compete equally with South America in a biodiversity contest. They have so many flora and fauna per square inch of space that you can hardly tour these continents without coming across really exotic and deadly animals. And if South America has the poison dart frog, Australia has the box jellyfish. This jellyfish may not have the most potent venom on this list, but it's arguably one of the deadliest. So the next time you're swimming in Aussie waters, and a large but almost transparent thing floats near you, resist your first instinct to reach out because with one sting from this animal's extremely long tentacles, you'll be injected with venom that will give you extreme pain and paralysis. These initial effects will progressively grow worse and can lead to delirium, shock, cardiac arrest, and yep, you guessed it, even death within minutes of the sting. One jellyfish has venom that's enough to kill 60 human adults. If that doesn't stop you from touching it, we don't know what will. There you have it, the top 10 dangerous animals you should never touch. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, check our video of the top 10 deadliest animals in the world.